Jason Mitz, Rob Thompson, The Blitz. It is The Blitz here on 1250 ESPN San Antonio, 94.5 FM. On the go at ESPNSA.com. He's Jason Minix. I'm Rob Thompson. Now, I implore you guys to go to one of our broadcast channels where you can actually see us. Because uh, this is our weekly segment. Mark Singleton joining us with Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. We are endeavoring to improve the world one uh, Wednesday at a time by offering recipes that are not only keto friendly but absolutely delicious including the delicious pork rind edition which is now the foodie thing and mark singleton joins us with a new recipe this week and i'll tell you mark uh, when i saw the fo- just the picture of uh, grilled gulf oysters with smoked sausage i i'm just gonna go uh, i'm all in on this one. Oh man you didn't even finish with pork rind crumble and mufaletta oh. pickle relish i mean we have turned this up so much. It's a great recipe, and it's real easy to make. Well, and I guess it must be. You know, you said on the show last week, Mark. You know, if you got an idea, send it to me because you guys will try to create things. And I know I sent you a message. Uh, our, our good friend Indy Kalu played in the NFL for about ten years. Does radio in Houston. Was watching a game the other night and eating canned oysters and, and pork rinds, and he tweeted about how good it was. Now. I don't know about canned oysters. Uh, I don't. I don't want to. I, I. I don't know that I've ever tried a canned oyster. I don't know that I ever would. But the idea of 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 an oyster and, and a pork rind actually sounded pretty good. And you guys made it into a good recipe. Oh man, you you, you guys are going to love this. This is combining all of our favorite things, grilling something, uh, 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 great great seafood. And of course, pork rinds. And, and the recipe is on our, our website at uh, southernrecipe.com. I went to HEB. I got me some oysters. I've got them on behind me. And this recipe, this isn't mine. This is my good buddy, Tim Byers, who won the James Beard Award a couple of years ago. This is his recipe. And I really encourage all your listeners to treat their friends and family this weekend because, man, we've got a great lineup of games uh, you know- to, to watch this weekend. James and I were having a conversation earlier. He asked, does the grilling season end as the sun sets earlier and it cools off? And I said, no, absolutely not. Some of the things that what, that I do change, I, I'm looking for quicker, a little bit easier recipes to get done because I don't want to stand out in the heat. Or I want get long a recipes <laughs> that I'm going to come and go from. And this kind of splits the middle because not only are we doing fresh seafood, but we're doing it with a little bit of smoky flavor. And then you add the, the pork, the crisp, the crunch, and the flavor of the pork rinds this is an idea i would have never considered until i saw the picture today oh if you're watching us on facebook i'm i'm holding this dude up there i mean it, it, it it's 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 amazing so what we did with this is the first thing is the magic oyster butter i mean just saying oyster butter doesn't that make you feel better yes I mean, that is incredible <laughs> i mean i mean really seriously think about it I mean, so you take one ounce of lime juice, two teaspoons of your favorite hot sauce. I use Louisiana hot sauce. Uh, I, I, you take about a quarter cup of red onions. You can throw a little more or less. Two garlic cloves, three teaspoons of red pepper, uh, bell pepper, a little kosher salt. I used a teaspoon. And then a whole stick of butter. And I stuck that in my, my the thing my wife makes smoothies in in the morning. And, and I, I ground it up. I made that this morning. I put it in the fridge. I had that ready. And then, man, you're all ready. You, 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 you just go get your oysters. Now, you guys know how to shuck an oyster, right? Well, you buy them at HB ready to go. You, you, you pop the you heel. get the gloves. I mean, I mean I, I've done it before at Oyster Bank. <laughs> well, but, I, I got to tell you that the big thing for me is go buy the Kevlar glove so that we're not doing the show from the emergency room. Okay. I mean, I've been doing it for years. That hurt me none. <laughs> so, so, so you shuck your oysters and, 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 and then it's really easy. You shuck your oysters, you lay them out. I got my smoker out there uh, going at about 450 degrees. It's hot. I want, I want this lip smacking. I mean, I want it to, you know, I won't drop water on there. It just explodes. And then we put the oyster, we put the oyster butter on there. And then we put our, our, you know, I went and got some kielbasa sausage and, and I, and I smoked it uh, the day I put it in the food processor. I crumbled it up on top. And then I took our pineapple ancho pork rinds and you can use whatever you want. 
You could use our, 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 our new ha- cranberry jalapeno. You could use a pasilla chili cheese. Today I chose the pineapple ancho. I, I put it in the or food cilantro box. lime. So There's cilantro up. lime. Let's not leave out cilantro lime. It would go quite well as well. And, and you know the thing about this is is this breading can go on anything. If you've got a breading for fish, for shrimp, for whatever, the same concept. You just uh, use the pork rind instead of breading. We put it on top. I put it on the grill for four or five minutes until you see the the, the lime butter come really hot and bubbly at the edge you see everything boiling bring them back inside uh put on a i used a muffaletta relish like you'd get on a oh what's exactly the the, the type you're using Mm -hmm. yep yep i used a muffaletta relish a little chopped tomatoes and some chopped chives oh guys it's it's the best recipe we've come up well once again we didn't come up with it tim byers came up with it you know and i know your listeners are gonna love it as a man who uses lime garlic butter as a cologne, I, I look forward to actually, uh, I mean, that's how I got my wife. I mean, let's be realistic. I mean, I mean, you, you, you use what I God mean, gave you. Butter has, I mean, oyster butter has so much potential, doesn't it? I mean, I mean, just think about that, oyster butter. Uh, so go to southernrecipesmallbatch.com. Uh, we've got some pictures showing. Uh, of oh, yeah, we've we got them up. Always. Yeah, yeah. It was so easy. And, and, and remember, uh, the other thing is never, when you're taking your oysters home, never close up the bag. They're alive. Uh, keep them uh, fresh, scrub them off. And, and, and as always, be careful, man. I, I got to tell you, this is one of my favorite recipes we've ever made. And, and, Mark, and what's the total know, prep time? Mark, what's the, when I walk in with a bag of oysters and all my veggies pre-cut, what's start to finish? What am I eating? How long? 45 minutes. Top. Perfect. No, stop, 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 stop. I, I, I will tell you, I mean, seeing those photos, reading this recipe, uh, my favorite place in the world to get oysters is Drago's down in New Orleans. I, I, I mean, I, I think I think they've got the best. Uh, the best. Looking at, at the way you're, th- this whole recipe, looking at those photos, I think Tim Byers is, it, it might have topped that. Um, you know, and, and knowing Tim, uh, and, and the restaurant, the, you know, he's, he's a great chef. He's a beard winner, right? Uh, uh, yeah. this, it, you, you've been, uh, compare those to Drago's for me and for our listeners that have been to Drago's. Cause I mean, I think everybody that's gone to New Orleans has stumbled through at Drago's at some point, right? You know, they're wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. A barbecued oyster. There's, there's great ones all over New Orleans. There's great ones all over Texas. The thing that really sets this one apart is that that oyster butter, that that hot sauce, that butter, uh, that pepper, that garlic, that uh, that that you infuse together. Let those seasonings meld all day. I mean, they're literally ground up. Put it on the oyster, not just a barbecue sauce, and then some great smoked sausage, mm-hmm. <laughs> some great pork rinds. And then put the magic of smoke in it. And you know what happens when smoke hits mm. food? I mean, mm. it turns into a whole different thing. I mean, it, it's real chemistry. It's amazing what happens. Uh, it, it, it's it's proof God loves it us. Up so many notches. Oh, oh, it'll give your mouth a, 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 a orgasm. I mean, it, it, it's, <laughs> there it is. It, it, it's, 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 Mark Singleton, uh, we'll drop it right there. He dropped the mic. The, the perfectly. <laughs> hey, go check out the the recipe. It is easy to make, and man, once you take one good look at the photo of what you can have done, southernrecipesmallbatch.com, Go to the recipes. You got a good idea. That's how this was born. Indy Kalu talked about it. We got it up there, and Mark got it made. The pork rinds elevate it to a place that has never been before. Add it on there. It adds a crunch, adds a flavor, and the smoke that goes along with it. You're never gonna have an oyster the same way again. And, and I'll tell and you what, Mark. Zero carbs. And, and zero carbs. Great kid. You guys have some new um, holiday Yeah, let's flavors. talk apple cinnamon. I haven't uh, had it yet. Cranberry I'm jalapeno tr- and the apple cinnamon pork rinds that, that have arrived at, at my house. Um, I haven't opened the bags yet. I, I, I've i got two bags of the Pacilli Chili Cheese still open, so I haven't quite opened these yet. But I'm, I'm very uh, – I'm a little afraid of the jalapeno one. Uh, but I'm very excited about these apple. Tell cinnamon us ones. about the thought process behind apple cinnamon. Okay, apple cinnamon. You know, you always ha- don't you have a 10:30 in the morning uh, kind of hunger ache? Yeah. When you get kind of hangry and, and, and you're sitting there, 
and, 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 you, and you want to be keto conscious and you want to be, you know, stay true to what, what your pledge is. You guys got to remember, I get, I read every email we get and we get so many of our customers who, who write in about how the food helps them through the morning, helps them in the day, helps them sound a day and the hundred pounds, 200 pounds they've lost in this. And, 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 and so when we were looking at apple cinnamon, it gives you that morning eating occasion. It gives you something that's not hot and spicy. That's an afternoon uh, uh, kind of snack with a beer. Uh, so it's we a testament we kind of open up four pints. Yeah. You know, Mark, it's a testament to the oil you fry in because it tells you that, the, you know, that, that it will hold on to a flavor separate and apart from, you know, the greasy thing that we expect so often with other brands. Yeah, you know, uh, that was one of the, the magics of when we were trying to, to, to figure out small batches is, is uh, Jimmy Rudolph, I, I asked him, uh, one of our, our founder's sons, I asked him, what's the best oil you've ever, you know, the best taste you've ever had? And, and he said sunflower oil, and, and, and we've used it, and it just gives no lingering um, aftertaste whatsoever. The pork wine is it, 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 amazingly true to the flavor, as you say. It doesn't have an overwhelming uh, um, Mark. I can't Thanks. wait. Mark Singleton, yeah. Southern yeah. Recipe Small Batch Pork Runs. Make yourself some oysters this week. Better yet, and upload a picture, man. We want to see that. Uh, mm -hmm. The recipes come every Wednesday, but that doesn't mean you don't stop buying your pork runs, Ryan. Southern Recipe, you can find them down at the HEB. Grab what you're after, man. Get you some apple cinnamon. Go online, order some friends. It's Christmas coming around. You want to treat the best? Send them some of those fine pork runs. Mark, man, thank you so much. You got us all hungry. Hey, Rob. See y'all next week. Southern recipe, small batch pork rinds and oysters to go along with Kiyobasa sausage. I'm yes. feeling very San Antonio today. I'm feeling, yes, sir. I'm feeling very local. <laughs> I'm feeling I'm feeling very good about us. Thanks so much for joining us, Mark.